today we're bringing you to our Camberwell branch. Um, it's based on number 16, Cold Harbour Lane, and that's just the bus stop right in front of us. Anyway, I'm taking you into our Camberwell branch today to show you how to wash your weave. When you buy the Brazilian weave, Peruvian, Mongolian, Cambodian, how to take it off and how to wash it. That's the first maintenance. So I'll be showing you all these today. And um, please come along as we go into the flag. So today I will be talking a little bit about the Mongolian hair, the kind of hair that we sell here. We do the Mongolian hair and this is the Peruvian and we've got the Brazilian. We've got the Cambodian which is very very soft if you want straight hair. And then we've got the deep wave Mongolian also. So today we're going to be washing the deep wave Mongolian. This is what I've got on at the moment. So we'll be washing this and then we'll be washing a Peruvian hair also. Where all this hair comes into um, specialty or grades is because when you want to bleach the hair. Let's say you want to bleach the hair to a blonde color. You will need a, a hair of a very, very high grade. Although all the hair are high grade hair, but then the end result is what matters. That is when your hair is being bleached or treated or done any, with anything very, very harsh on it, the out result must still be silky and nice. So that is why we've categorized everything according to um, their brands and where they come from. So the Mongolian hair is our best sellers at the moment because that one, when you bleach it, you do anything to it, it still retains, all the cuticles still retains very tight and it's very easy to manage too. It's not as difficult as the rest of them. Our very, very premium range is the Indian range of hair. That one is good also, but you can only bleach that to a color 33. If you want to take it lighter than that, it might come out a bit trashy. So it depends on your maintenance also. I sell a lot of hair to many people on a daily basis, and I realize that the question, they're always amused about the fact of how to wash the hair. So when we take the hair out and how we wash it in our homes and not taking it to the salon, so now get your hair, put all your hair in bunches, several bunches, like this. Just hold it like this. You've brushed it all out nice, it's nice and smooth. And then what you do is you get your conditioner. This is, this is the conditioner that I always recommend anyway. It's nice, it's Pantene and it's very, very silky. So what I want you to assume is as if you're putting your, your clothes in um, the washing machine. And you know some clothes, when you wash them, it just kicks back. You see everything shrinks. So that's the same way that the detergent is on hair when we're going to wash it. So I always advise people to apply your conditioner on it. Apply your conditioner on it first. So it softens all the cuticles of the hair. You will see it coming out nice and soft. You can even wet it because some of them, some people have asked me if they should wet it or not. You can even see it. It's soft already without putting the shampoo on it. So this is the part that touches your hair. This is the part that really needs the, the, the thorough washing. So you've already conditioned this, softened it. So it's nice and soft, ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my shampoo. I'm using the same brand of shampoo, Pantene shampoo. And then I'll put it in, put a little bit in my bowl. Put some water in it. mix it why i'm doing it like this is because some shampoos are still very very too strong for the hair so it kicks back and when the hair kicks back most of you get so scared as if it's going to tangle so you pour your shampoo over it this time you don't need to be scared about that and then all you need to do this is the part that needs the scrubbing this is the part that touched your head before so because the conditioner is on it now it's not going to react in a harsh way it's still going to be nice and soft as we wash along and this is the place that really needs the washing so we've done all that and then we'll rinse it off so you see that the, con the part that the shampoo is touching here all the dirt is coming out of it now make sure it's all in a bunch so you'll be able to control it properly when you're washing when it's all in a bunch and then you've washed all this so now i'm going to rinse it all off you'll see look you 
can see what I was trying to say some of the hair would always kick back a little bit and that's because of the case of the shampoo the shampoos are very very strong and don't forget they are detergents so that is why we have to soften it it's like using a fabric softener when you want to put the clothes in the washing machine to wash also you put fabric softener so that it doesn't react so badly on any item so you look at the kind of hair you find and study the kind of maintenance that is good for that hair some hair are very very easy to maintain and some are you need to buy certain kind of products look at the contents of the products and then use it so now I will now condition it over again to soften it so you see the difference when I put the conditioner on it again you see how it's going to react so you rub your conditioner on it so now this is another preference and um, another tip I'm going to show you when you rub your conditioner on it some people let's say you bought like that, an Indian hair and it's already bleached what you would do is you put the conditioner on it with a little bit of oil it can be your normal serum let's say the Pantene serum and put it in a bag and leave it put it in like in a food bag or any plastic bag and leave it on your radiator for maybe a whole day and then rinse it out by the time you rinse it out you find out that all the cuticles will be nice and smooth once again or I wouldn't advise everybody to try this but a couple of us have tried it you put the conditioner on put it in a bag and put it in um, your microwave but make sure it's got some holes to let the steam off but I wouldn't recommend that for everybody if you're not the tough person that's willing to take the risk you know don't do it and also I would say don't do it if you're not quite sure because you don't know what the contents of your conditioner is most of us just go around buying it and the manufacturer's recommendation is not telling us that we should put it in the microwave it's saying we should steam it so try and just keep it steamed in any possible way you can think of minimal risk okay so just because another person is doing it doesn't mean that you have to do it that way 